Hello guys, HR here. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, Netra Kriya Shaila and Physiology of Vision. So it is one of the topic of Shaila Tantra, Shaila Ki Tantra, sorry. So this is our fourth video of this topic. So let's start. First of all, eye is the most important indriya among all the Gnana Indriyas. The function of eye is to get clear vision of the external world. As you all know, uh, one of the sloka uh, beautifully quoted by Charaka in the Acharya Charaka in the Sutta Sthana is uh, as you all know very well which is Admindriya Manoarthanam Sannikarshat Pravartate Vekshadatveya Buddhi Pratyakshansa Nimichate Charaka Sutra Sthana 11th chapter 20th sloka. Here the Samyoga of Indriya, Atma, Manas, Indriya, Artha leads to Jnana and the perception of vision takes place in three stages. Uh, here comes the main part the perception of vision takes place in three stages the what are the three stages first is indriyartha sannikarsha the contact between eye and uh, object and the second is rupa alochanam analysis of images and third is jannutpati visual perception now we are going to deal one by one very detailedly okay first is indriyartha sannikarsha the first stage uh, or first step in which the perception of objects by indriya takes place in uh, in it again the stages are there by a number of complex mechanisms as we know it is a complex mechanism in stage one the conduction of light is reflected by object to the eye in stage two the refraction uh, of the light is inside the eye. the stage three convergence of light is inside the, eye on the dishti patala here vata is the functioning uh, dosha in the stage presence of the normal pitta and kapha okay here vata is more whereas uh, pitta and kapha are in the normal stage okay now when we come to the second stage that is Rupa Alochanam, it is a very complex stage as we see. So once the light is convergence of the Vajrashti Patala, the series of reaction takes place here. Okay, the photo, first one is the photochemical change that is concerned with the photosensitive pigment in the eyes that are rods and cones of Dishti Patala and second one is the electrical changes. When the Dishti Patala is situated, uh, the electrical variations or electrical potations occur in nerve bending. Okay. Uh, nervous stimulations. Nervous stimulation is developed by the electrical potential. Here the main uh, allochika pitta acts as a main role uh, which is texture veshashika is the main functioning dosha in the stage. Uh, in Janunotpati, the source which, uh, which includes Janunotpati, it occurs in following steps. Okay, conduction of impulse from the Dishti Patala to Buddhi, transformation of visual impulse into the Indriya Jnana, that is visual sense. In this stage, conduction is carried out by Pranavayu, a transversion of visual impulse is carried out by Alochaka Pitta. So, it, this is Buddhi Vaisheshika, is, this is Chakshur Vaisheshika. Okay, functionally Alochaka Pitta has two factors, Chakshur Vaisheshika and, and Buddhi Vaisheshika. In Chakshur Vaisheshika acts as at the level of Dhyan, Buddhi Vaisheshika acts at the level of Buddhi. Okay, uh, Pancha Panchaka of Netra, as we all know, Indriya is Chakshur Indriya, Indriya Dharva is Tejas, and Indriya Dhishtana is uh, Akshi, Indriya Artha is Rupa, Indriya Buddhi is Chakshur Buddhi. Okay. Now, physiology of vision. Physiology of vision is a complex phenomenon as we are all dealing with the complex phenomenon only. From first to last, it is a very complex phenomenon as the eye is a very complex organ. The main mechanism in role is physiology of vision. Uh, first is initiation of vision. How the in, uh, vision is initiated? Transduction, phototransduction, a function of photoreceptor. Second is process of transmission of visual sensation, a function of image processing cells of retina and visual pathway. And third is visual perception, a functioning of visual cortex related to the cerebral cortex. Okay. Now, first is phototransduction, the rods and cones are the visual um, sensitive organs on the retina that are sensory nerve endings for serve as a sensory nerve endings of visual sensation. The light falling upon retina causes photochemical change which in turn trigger a cascade of biochemical results in generation of uh, electrical changes. Okay, the whole phenomenon of conversion of light energy into a nerve impulse is known as phototransduction. This is the first step. Uh, second is the transmission of visual sensation and visual pathway. Light falling upon retina is absorbed by photosensitive pigment present in rods and cones and initiates a photochemical changes which trigger a sequence of events that is electrical changes that initiates the visual sensitives. The long fibers originating from the all the ganglion of retina meet together and form an optic nerve and comes out of a eyeball through a lamina cribriosa. The both lamina both optic nerves left and right form a 
optic chiasma like this they are form of optic chiasma we will see in the figure next slide here the fibers on the nasal half of the each retina crosses to join optic track of the opposite of the fibers and form the temporal half of the retina proceeds to the same side the two optic tracks on the chiasma move outward and backward to to end in the lateral uh, geniculate bodies from which the fibers uh, for the optic random radiation originates the optic radiation on the either side past the posterior portion of the internal capsule and in the calarine cortex surrounding the calarine fissure in the optical lobe so occipital lobe which is also known as visual cortex as you can see in the uh, figure that the left eye or the right eye here the optic nerve emerges and they meet at the uh, optic chiasma by inward and outward movement backward movement here optic track forms and then they meet the lateral osculate body and they move backward forming a opt optic radiation which is in turn leads to what vert visual cortex uh, here the cerebral cortex come in play okay the third is visual perception the visual perception are the functional elements of the vision the sensations which result from the stimulation of retina with light these are four kinds mainly the light sense the form sense the contrast sense and the color sense. the light sense is it refers to application of light the form sense it is ability to discriminate between the shapes of object for example circle or triangle etc the sense of the contrast it is ability of the eye to pursue slight changes in the luminance between the regions which are not separated by different borders the color sense it is the ability of eye to discriminate between the different colors the red blue red violet etc in different wavelengths okay Now,